Okay, I no camera, I don't know where to start, so this is where we're going. Let's take a look at the paints that we have on the table today. Ooh, oh my goodness! You have any idea how easy this is for him now? He's still learning how to use it, however. But this is so exciting! This is our first color teaching you how to color theory. Well, it's not really color theory. It's more color mixing. So our first color mixing class with the new camera. So we're pretty stoked about that. Are you excited? Can he, can you, can you, you he no can idea. hardly even contain you himself. No he idea. can't even be funny. He's so excited. I mean, like every shot he does now, he thinks is just remarkable. And so, um, cinematic gold. Cinematic gold for sure. Okay, I want to take a couple of seconds here to point out that if you leave me a message on a contact form for the website, and if you've left me a message before there instead of just going straight to my email box, you've probably been ignored because the settings were off in it and I had no idea. I didn't even know they were there. Um, it, I just thought it was somebody looking, uh, when it came across, it, it comes across looking like it's someone signing up for a newsletter. Why well, don't need to talk to you until it's time to send a newsletter? So I didn't know. Um, we've had, um, so we have one person who didn't get a response about kits and I apologize for that on camera. I am so sorry, be seen, that we did not get to you. I really, I'm really truly sorry. The other thing I would like to point out to you guys is that there are 24,000, woo! Over 24,000 of you now. And I get emails, I get Instagram messages, I get Instagram comments, I get comments on all the videos, I get Facebook inquiries, and, um, We're getting ready and inquiries now on the website. And there's only two of us. So if we don't respond to you, I, I cannot help it. I, we're doing everything we can to respond to every single person. Just also know that when you order something, um, that it takes hours to get all these things shipped out. That the last time we shipped art was this week and I was up until four o'clock in the morning and I had spent over, I had spent mm, about 22 hours doing nothing but double checking, wrapping gift, wrapping um, uh, art that had to be shipped out and making sure it gets to you. If you receive something that's damaged, I didn't do it. You can blame me all you want, but I didn't do it. We've had one casualty in everything that we have shipped so far since um, the 4th. And to be honest, I've only had four casualties in the six years I've been shipping art all over the world. Um, rather than be mad at me, how about we look at it like I'm the one who is out here because I have to now paint something new for you if something gets broken because I want you to have a painting. And we're now out double shipping costs. Yeah, now we're out double shipping costs, yes. If I overcharge you for shipping, please understand that every single bit of what gets wrapped around your painting, put in your painting, the sticker label, the ink that goes into the, into the, into the printer costs us money. We're, we're not making money on your shipping here, guys, so please do not come after me about the fact that your label says one thing but you paid for another thing because you also paid for all the other shipping. And it pains me to announce that out of all of the shipping that we've been doing, we have received our first paint, painting casualty in all of this. We shipped a sweet little painting to New Zealand and it got a gash. So, oh my God. Uh, so I have, let me, so let's talk about this for a minute, what you need to do if you receive something from us that's damaged. First of all, don't be mad, cause that, I should be mad, but I'm never mad. Well, except, you know, sometimes I'm mad, but I'm never really mad. Um, it's just a waste of time to get mad, in my opinion. I'd rather be happy. Like on the fan mail video? Yeah, I wanted to rip your head off for that editing job, let me tell you here. <laughs> anyway, so, um, the video that we're if, not yet getting paid for. Yeah, oh, that's just wonderful. Anyway, so stop talking, Sace, because I'm trying to keep my brain together today, and we're just running out of time for Christmas. Um, if you receive something, if you receive a painting in the mail from us, and it's been damaged, please understand, first of all, first and foremost, that I didn't do it, that I don't work for the for the postal service and I cannot control what goes on there. Second of all, I'm happy to paint another one for you because it breaks my heart that you didn't get your painting. So I'm kind of the one who's out the time, the materials and the supplies and have to double up on the shipping again. 
Um, so if you receive something that's damaged, I would like for you to let me know about it as soon as possible. Um, if when we ship over, when we ship something to another country, um, you guys, we we probably do charge a little more, a little extra on the shipping. First of all, when you ask me how much the shipping is, <laughs> my I'm not Google. <laughs> Just understand that I'm sort of shooting from the hip because I don't know how much your painting is going to weigh, first of all, when you ask me that on the live feeds. And second of all, I don't know what the customs are going to be at that, what the, what the shipping rate is going to be at the moment that I pull the trigger on it. The other thing is, is that a lot of times shipping internationally, and I don't know if this happened, have, has happened to any of you others that ship art and stuff, but there's been a couple of instances that um, we've gotten a bill for taxes and things um, after the product has been uh, put through customs. I don't even think it's customs. I don't know who does it. But there's been a couple of times that we've received a bill back on our shipping um, through FedEx, UPS, or the um, Postal Service through our account that we've been billed for taxes and other fees because uh, the other country has charged that. And we don't ask you guys for your tax information so that you get charged for it. So at, we typically don't refund any additional um, fees charged for shipping until after the merchandise has been received in another country because there's always some wanky, there's always a possibility that something wanky might be going on there. So, for God's sakes, this is so boring. <laughs> but it's important information I wanted you to know because I feel like we talk about it, but then if we do it on a live feed, then not everybody hears it. So I'm apologizing ahead of time for you guys not being totally informed about your kits unless you've been watching the live feed and, and um, about the contact form in the website. I didn't even know that was happening. So we fixed that glitch. So if you receive something damaged, please let me know. I will fix it for you. I will just have to paint you another painting. I mean, there's nothing else I can say about it. I can't, I can't do anything about the damage. And if we charge you a little extra, also know guys that everything we use to ship to you, we have to pay for. The fairy shipping godmother never shows up at my house. So all of the bubble wrap, all of the ink, all the stickers, all the fancy waterproof bags that are supposed to be uh, dent and cut resistant um, all cost money and that goes into what we ship out to you. So we're not trying to make money on your shipping. We're just trying to not go in the hole with the shipping. So you anyway. Guys have any idea how expensive bubble wrap is? Oh my Jesus, Industrial seriously. Bubble wrap. It's nuts. It is nuts. So, so now that we've covered all the logistical BS of Malula and my head is on fire, let's do some paint making. How about that? Because that's what we're all here for. Hopefully, hopefully we've covered all topics of I'm discussion. I'm only here because I was promised tacos. Tacos? Oh, tacos. Cease. Cease is, is it Taco Wednesday? Starving. I'm hungry too. Maybe we should eat after this. Okay, so let's do this. Um, fan request. Here we go. You know the drill. You mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't even have to turn the camera off for this, do you? Oh, no, I don't. I'm so excited. Look at that. Woo! So let's see what we can do about making these paint babies here. Let's make some paint babies. This color right here, it's called Jamaica Bay. Hmm. I think it's a derivative of brilliant blue and a little bit of turquoise, um, no, blue. I want the paint tubes. Oh, you want the paint tubes? Yes. So, for those of you who keep asking us what paint we're using, we're telling you right now. We're telling you right now. So that Sace doesn't have to necessarily go through all the hassles. Turquoise blue by yeah. Amsterdam. And... Get my little cuppy jobs up here. Come on. You can do it. You I, can do I, it. I have faith. You can do it. I have full faith. I'm going to have to cut the end off of that. Tea. Is it doing it? No. It's uh, getting close. I thought it I'm was too, gonna. I'm too close. I thought it was supposed to autofocus. It is. I was just too close. Brilliant blue. All I bet we machine. have a delivery. Just Toofy right is now. barking. Okay, so are, are we going? still on? Where are you going? Right here. All right. Well, I'm trying to go right there. Right, We're gonna squeeze out a little bit of this turquoise blue, just a touch, because we don't need a ton of this stuff. So we've got that. So let me show you here on the thing what that looks like compared to our little sample. See, it's a little on the greeny side for the blue. 
but but it, but we need that I feel like we need that now this tube is almost completely empty so I'm gonna cut the end off and just scrape out what I need with my handy dandy palette knife here that needs to be clean I'm ashamed of my palette knives there they have not been cared for properly this is brilliant blue so I'm gonna put that right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bead of that turquoise and I'm gonna cut that right into that brilliant blue and this is really all the brilliant blue that we need hey tuffle up guess what is up my sweet puppuccina did we get a delivery nope Oh, he was just barking to bark? Yeah, old mailman drove by, which is why he barked. The mailman drove yeah. by? It's that late in the day? Mm-hmm. Great. We're running behind today, my peeps. Running behind. Okay, so... Let me... Hold on real quick. Let me mess these settings. That's it. That's the color. How do you so do we're going to put that in the cup. How do you do it? Well, Tell I've been us. trained to see color, Sace. I'm a freaking genius! That's how I do it. Okay, so there's that one. Now, let's go on to this sweet sky blue here. Woo! Okay, now, straight out of the tube, that sky blue doesn't have that little bit, just touch of green hint hue to it. Just needs a touch to that turquoise side. So all I'm going to do is just get my knife dirty with this this uh, greenish blue and Prussian blue mixture and I'm just gonna let a tiny bit of that flow right into there and we'll see if I can get that right. I bet you can. You don't think I can? So, taking bets now in the comments, will Ryu make mud? Will she fail epically? <laughs> Will I, will I, will I, Sace? Um. Uh. Mm. You know what, I'm gonna add a little bit of that um, transparent silver to, to that. The impression blue? Yeah. The, no, the, um, the, this one, this, this color right here. Yeah. Where are we at? This is titanium. I'm going to add just a touch of titanium into this. Show us the little dollop that you There's your little dollop I, of titanium. Like, I want you to put like right there. Perfect. See that? Yes. Girl. Girl. Hey. Hmm. You have any idea how nice this looks? Well, I mean, I'm here to tell you that this is not quite right yet. Look, so. look, look, look. I can turn it around and show you. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I know, right? That's pretty cool. Going too far, but. And grab a little bit of that gray. And it tells me how long we're filming, too. Oh, how long have we been filming? 11 minutes and 37 seconds. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, that's outstanding. Like, total? Uh-uh. Pretty uh, session, essentially. I'm going to pull another color. Color. Well, and I don't know if this color comes in Amsterdam or not. <clears throat> this is light blue violet. Bye. Um, this one happens to be Blick acrylic, which is a great student grade acrylic paint. This is real picking the dog hairs off for her painting tubes. We have two for corns. Jimmy's. Jimmy John's Jack Jackalakalulis and uh, Sandara Bonovich's. Be sure to leave that on the table so I can put the names on the uh, on the video. Light blue violet. Just needs a. This is just a. I think this is probably an ultramarine blue with some or a cobalt. Maybe it's got a little bit of cobalt in there. I could look the pigments up, but. Can you see it? Where'd you put it? Right there. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna add it's just. It's camouflaged. Just gonna add just a touch more you to are that. You're so talented. Like seriously, how you do it? Okay. Where there's you your color. Boink. There it yep, is. Yep. Just went invisible. 
invisible. Okay, into the cup. Now, this last color, this last color is a green that has a bit of a brownish red hue to it. So, I'm betting that it is olive green light. We'll put that right next door, door to it. I think that's the base of that color. I'm gonna come up here and mix this up here so we don't get any of the blues in there because I don't want the blues in there. Okay. You can get to see that autofocus. Because, and the reason why they've chosen this color of yellow, guys, is because this is the this is a is a yellow base that has had one of these blues here with a little bit of green in it mixed into it to get I to that blues. color. What? Um, they've taken a yellow with the peacock blue here and mixed it to get to that. Okay. okay? But I'm going to warm, that's, that's too intense right there. So I'm going to bring it down so that it's on the same intensity level mm -hmm. with a touch of this um, burnt sienna here, which is also in this painting or this picture here. We're going to see. This 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 uh, yellow is very transparent. So is this is the turquoise blue. So this is going to read very. It's going to absorb that burnt sienna very very quickly, and it's going to read pretty. And... Wow. <laughs> oh yay! Look at that. That was perfect. First try. Bam. Bam. Let's make a little more of it. So we've got a little bit more. All right. I am determined to teach you guys how to mix every color possible with these Amsterdam Found paints. It. And Amsterdam does not sponsor me. I don't take any of their money. They don't even give me a break on the on the paint that I buy. Um, so, but I it's it's a it's a wonderfully pigmented brand for the price. So. So all of my my uh, all of our there's like 300 dedi heavily dedicated fans. I want you all to send them strongly worded worded emails <laughs> and threaten to kick their dog. Why? Why? Why not? You're so stupid. I swear, you're so stupid. I don't even understand what you're talking about. I want a little bit more of that green mixture. That's too bad. Okay. We've gotten a few more comments. We, we, we can tell that we've got a lot of new people coming into the show, and we're super excited. We want to welcome you if we haven't welcome. had a chance to say hi yeah. yet. Uh, we've also noticed that there's been some discouraging comments left in the feeds about uh, our bickering back and forth and our antics. And um, if you are not a fun person and if you are uptight about anything, this show is probably not for you. We have pretty much made that very, very clear from the get-go that if I was going to do a show, it wasn't going to be your mom's uh, painting show. So there you have it. Anyway, there's your green. Close to the mark. Oh. Ah. All right, guys. So there we have that. Now, just for grins, because I like shimmer. We all know that I'm a freaking unicorn, and I love shimmers. So um, I like the shimmers in the paint. I don't like putting glitter directly on my paint, but I, I'm not above putting some shimmer in there. So we have... That is still not gray enough, first of all. I'm gonna add a touch more gray to that because it's it's not gonna be the same color palette if I don't, I feel like. So there's that. Now, what I'm gonna do is add some of this Liquitex iridescent medium to it directly in there. Yeah, don't if, that on camera. That's... If I have any left, <laughs> I'm going to add some of this. The remarkable thing about this is that it just has a beautiful shimmer. It'll take on whatever color you want it to take on. It is, yes, going to have more of a silver side to it than a than a um, than a gold side. And I'm really all about the golds right now. Golds and rose golds and and you know dusty pinks, not baby pink, but a orangey pink. Go ahead and hit me with a little bit more of that. Thank you. That's enough. 
See, that is so much better. Mate, now this is a higher value on the knife, but I can assure you it is going to dry dark and match the uh, match the, the the paint swatch there. There we go. That's more Perfect. of a color. Because see, as that other one started to dry, it was too blue. And this now is, woo, exact. Because who's the queen? That would be me. Oh yeah, that's right. Queen Rio. Okay. So. I don't know what this thing does. What? You don't know what it does? I don't know what it does. Let's put, okay, so we have a lot of questions about Floetrol. This is the amount of paint, and I put it on the edge of the cup on purpose so you can see it. It's about a teaspoon and a half of paint. For those That's of you it. who bake, maybe just a teaspoon. I'm using baby Dixie cups. I'm filling that cup um, a quarter of the way up. Yeah. And that's all I'm using to start with. Because we're just going to try to do one canvas here and get on with it. The palette has been used. Now on the higher value ones, I'm going to use a little extra flow trial because that titanium paint's heavy. It's, I'm here to tell you guys, it's kind of heavy. Stace, did you get our, our flow trial ordered? I'm going to leave this on the table for us. I'm going to move this palette out of the way. Let's get our cups. Oh, we didn't take the, the cover off that. You want to take the cover off of that while I stir these up? Sure. Okay, I want to point out again. This paint's very transparent, this, this uh, greenish blue with the Prussian blue in there. And when you add the flow trial, you get a much higher value than what we started with, okay? Whoops, I touched the whole picture. Poop. So the tendency is to panic and decide, oh, you gotta add black to that. Don't add anything to this because that flow trial is gonna dry uh, clear and that blue is gonna go back to what we've got right here on the on the camp on the picture swatch. So just be very aware that you have yeah, to think I about those like things. Trying to zoom in on that or oh, I'm very sorry. Here, see, this is what we started with. This is what we have after the flow trial. So there's definitely a value difference. It's the same hue, but the value is different. So do not add anything extra to this. You do not need to darken this at this point because it will dry dark just like this. Mark my words. What's gonna happen with the silver baby? It's gonna go higher value first, but it will adjust itself as it dries. Should I do a white? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and quickly mix up a Okay, as I'm sitting here, are we filming? Yeah. Okay, as I'm sitting here thinking about my strategy here, um, I've got a bigger canvas, it's a 10 by 10 on this one, and I kind of feel like I want to do a little bit of negative space. So what I'm going to do is put the zinc white here with a little bit of titanium white into this cup, and I'm using the tongue depressor to get out as much of that paint as I possibly can because I don't like to leave any in the tube. I'm gonna put just, I'm gonna put a little bit of, that was titanium. I'm gonna put a little bit of zinc in there. I'm gonna add just a touch of silver from, because we always do white as a negative space, so how about if we do a color as negative space? So I'm going to add some silver to this because I think it's going to be really pretty. So there you, you've got that so There's far. A ton of paint there. It is a ton of paint. I'm going to cover the whole canvas with it first. Uh, or I'm going to cover the whole canvas with, you know. So I'm going to fill this cup with flow trough. There's probably going to be two of these, which, you know, I probably haven't made too much. So we might actually get two canvases out of this. You know, I like to do things more than once. Oh, you know what? I should do a pour and you should do a pour, say. Okay. If you insist. 
You're not being very talkative today, say. I don't. These are kind of. Um, I, I. These are kind of. Not to be like rude, but they're kind of boring to film. Oh, they are. Yeah. But look at all this color we've made. I know. You don't like it? I didn't say that I didn't like it. I just said that they were kind of boring to film. Hmm. Gonna fill that cup with Because I can't film. talk over you in this one, because then people will complain, because they can't hear what you're saying, and they're trying to actually learn. Well, you can talk over me now, because all I'm doing is... Shut up! Is putting the flow trial in here. Boy, is that the only witty thing you could come uh, up with yeah. today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you've been just stupefied from your new camera? Yep. Ready to be Pretty much just stupefied. <clears throat> I like the... That's a beautiful color. It's got a nice shimmer to it. It's got so a... I was going over my... I was going over all the stuff that I've saved for when we do our videos, like, mm -hmm. you know, the text that we have, that I have come up mm -hmm. at the end of the videos. I realized yesterday that I have, that I asked them to like the video twice in that. In the text? Yeah. Oh. Well, we need to figure out, we've, somewhere in there is, is a saved setting that has all that old text from October coming up. We need to ditch that. That's on the live streams, right? Yeah, well, it's because it's coming through on your phones when you upload directly. I think you have to get in there and adjust the first live stream, right? No, you don't. You've got to get in there. It's in a saved setting somewhere. I accidentally found it once, and then I haven't been able to make my way back. I don't know how I did that. I am making an absolute mess on this canvas, but it doesn't matter. Grab another 10 by 10, say. I don't just... know what that looks like. It's right behind you on the floor, son. Where? Where? Rio. I don't see it. Say, so you dumb. Rio. You don't have to answer that. We all know you're Rio. dumb. Rio. I, I can't. You know you're dumb. I can't. You can't? I can't. Are you so excited about your new camera, say? I can't. Here you go. Just lovely. You should see them. This this studio is such a mess. Where's my gloves? Uh, right there. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. Of course not. Here, you need to wear gloves too, because Donna has already said, "Do not get paint on that camera, and she'll be watching you." Says, I don't know how it happened, but you have like like 57 moms now. I know. And a couple couple of cranky grandmothers added to your list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Donna, I'm talking to you. I don't think Donna's old enough to be your grandmother for sure. Not Donna, and sorry. Wanda. I didn't, I didn't mean Donna. You meant Wanda? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Wanda. Let's do that again. Donna. Wanda, I'm talking to you. Look, that's just just lovely. Know, right? Okay, so. Do you have any idea how easy this is gonna be? To film? Not filming, beating you at this. Beating me at this? Yes. Oh, you're very confident. Uh huh. Very, very confident in mm -hmm. yourself, aren't you, Sace? Yep. And I'll I'll go ahead and let you do yours first. Oh, so you can see what I did. So you can, so I can, so we can watch you mess the whole thing up. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this white silver mixture just to the bottom of my cup there. Then I'm going to start, and I'm going to go right down the list. I'm going to add some of the blue. And I don't want a ton of color in this cup because I like the negative space. And I always seem to, and then um, I haven't been putting my silicone directly in the paint cups. I've been dropping it in as we're doing it here. I, I really enjoy the cells that it makes. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm right and every other method is wrong because that's not what we're saying at all. Um, I'm just saying that I really kind of like the way it does that. I'm going to add a little bit. That should be enough for you. Oh, is that better? Get some of that silver. Yeah, that's how much you leave me with? Dude, that was going to be like my base color. What's your problem? 
Um, I really don't think I have a problem. I think you have a problem because... Mm, you don't leave me enough paint. I don't leave you enough paint? No. Well, I'm done. You can have all that paint. How am I going to do anything with this? This is this was going to be my go-to. Oh, it was? Yeah, and there's hardly anything in there now. Did you watch the video on how I made that? I I'm pretty sure you I can mix not, that I again. Like pretty sure wow. that you can mix that again. Wow, really? Because I, I just made a video on how to mix that color space. The, the, everyone in, in YouTube land saw me make this video on how to mix yeah. this. So you could probably just go back and take yeah. a peek. So yeah. I've been putting too much paint in these little cups when I do the, the flip drag thing or the flip fire. We like the flip fire. So I'm turning that over. This has no silicone in it. Oh, it's not even, it's kind of chunky too. It's still got too much chunk of lunk in there. Mm -hmm. Let me get that squished up against the side of the cup. Let me just give this a, a good stir again. So we don't waste paint because it boogers up. Boogers. I mean, you know, I got nothing against boogers or anything, but I don't like boogers in my paint. Boogers. Or my burgers. <laughs> or my food. Okay, so I'm going to pour this around just like this. Right up against that cup. I'm going to empty this entire cup out on there. And so hopefully... And for the record, I may have made this a little too thick to do this, what I want to do here, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. Good, it doesn't work. Well, it might not. You might want to thin your paint after seeing me go through mine. What happens with mine? So. I like, I prefer the paint to be a little thicker. Yeah, I like it a little thicker too. Seems to help. I kind of have a good feeling about this one, say. First painting of the day. I'm just gonna. No, I'm not gonna take too much time making all this perfect. Um, I do, however, think I want to have Chase uh, spritz the back of this canvas, or we're out of water, aren't we? Yeah, I'll have to run upstairs. No, don't worry about it. Okay, so. What I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to heat up the paint around it because it's got some bubbles. Look at all those bubbles pop. And that will get this paint a little more fluidy as well. And I don't want to hold the torch over any one area too terribly long. Uh, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to burn a hole in the top of this cup. Now we don't recommend you do this at home or in your studio or outside or in public anywhere. This is just a little something we've come up with and it's probably really dangerous. Let it go. Let it go. Now pull it up. We, I'm not 100% sure that I understand what the smoke does, but I swear to you that the smoke does do something to that. But again, it's kind of a dangerous technique. And it does kind of stank up the, the studio a little bit. Like your breath. Oh yes, like my breath, says. You wanna you wanna see something cool guys? Oh god. Oh Donna, don't be mad. It wasn't technically on the camera. Oh we're running out of butane. Look at that. Hopefully we have look more at butane. That. Look, look. Now I'm gonna pick this up and just start to move it just a touch because I really do like you're gonna have to cut and go get um, yeah. this has to be sprayed. I cannot okay. move this until it's been sprayed. Right. And we need more butane. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to move this around just a touch because I need to get the, the canvas covered, but I don't want to ruin. Do I need to pour this on my canvas before I put the cup on? Or no, put the, put the cup on first. If you want to do it just like I did, I put the cup on first. I don't want mine to be anything like yours because you're just dumb. I understand.
Am I doing it right? Yeah, will you dribble a little bit of that hair on mine? That edge. You want some in the center too? Yeah, right there. Not in the very right center. Here. No, no, no. Right here. No, here. No, here. no, no. Very thoughtful right of you, but okay. no. I want that to run over the edge. It'll be a nice effect. Just taking that stick, laying it flat, and just pulling right over the edge. Gonna go over the edge to this side, just a touch, and then bring it right back. I'm gonna pick some of Chase's paint up off the Did table. Did you just take my paint? Yeah, from off the table. What is your sure. problem? Uh, your problem is is that you're running your paint over the edge already. Is that not supposed to happen? I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Well, are you breathing? I'm kind of new to this, so. <laughs> Whatever. Kind of new to this. Kind of new to what? Being quiet because you're so excited you can't even think. Shut up. Okay. I'm just gonna steal some. You just put paint on my hand. I did. Well, it's better Where than dripping it on considered you. an act of violence. <laughs> it's an act of aggression. Act of aggression. Whatever. The paint acts like it's got silicone in it. Did you actually put silicone in there? Or? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't put silicone in these cups either, so we'll see what happens. I didn't be put silicone in mine. And you didn't mine. put it in your cup, so that this will be a good experience to see what the silicone actually does to so it. So I'm essentially letting you win this one. No, uh, maybe not. Saying. It might do something really cool that we haven't done before because we put silicone in everything on these channels. It's a really nice piece for you. I think it is. I will out. offer you like four dollars for it. Oh my god, that's a that's a deal for me. I mean seriously, who would pay four dollars for this if it wasn't for you? Okay, so I don't have a lot of extra runoff. I think I am happy with this. I think that's really pretty. Are you gonna set your cup on fire, or what are you gonna do? Why do you have to like try to make me do things that I am not? Could you took my technique and then said it was ours, and it's really not you ours. It's no well, yours. I think that's pretty cool. If you just barely, there you go. There you go. Look at those cells. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah! Do not oh. touch that. This is gonna work. Okay. Just let it do its thing for a minute. Okay. You need to spray the. Yeah, you're a little saggy. You're saggy. <laughs> Spray the bottom of that. Like grab the wrong thing. Where's the? There it is. Look at those cells. I got one big one in there. Yes, you do. Right. Now I'm betting that if you heat that up a little bit, that you'll have some more cells. But I, I'd be very careful about heating that up. Look how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. So you just need to kind of move that around gently. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid I don't want to do it. Well, it's, it's beautiful. 
What if it turns into poop? But it, you need, you're going to have to move it around because you've got you've got like a circle of white around it and you've got to let it go off the edge at some point or somewhere. So warm that paint up. Oh, that's pretty. I wouldn't do all of it, but I would do some of it. What do you think? Put this edge over here. Just I'd heat up all your white paint over here. So that it'll move. I'd heat this up a little bit. Woo, say. This is a spot right here that's just not filling in right there. Okay, so. So this, no, this has Floetrol in it. Well, what you mean, this is with silicone, yeah. this is no silicone. So without no the silicone, 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 you still get the cells. And they're you just pretty, don't get they're, the, these, the cells and without the silicone are very random. random. Yeah, it's really interesting. The silicone, I guess, really holds. Because you've got this big one here and then a couple there. I have a few buggers to pick. I wonder if. Heat that baby up again, see what happens. I'd like to see some of that. Oh yeah, that's working. A little bit there. I would heat it up right there on that edge. Ooh, that's pretty. Do it again. That torch is so warm. All right, so. I think these two are a success, and even though we have different cell formations in both of them, I think they're both cohesive and they're both very pretty. So, of course, mine is better because... So, um, like I was saying earlier, we have a couple of big cells here and there, and then this guy over here is just loaded with large cells. And this one isn't moving any very much anymore, so it's probably just going to stay, just like he is. In the this camera, this camera though is amazing. Seriously, yeah. best gift I ever. I can from one spot show you everything on the painting. Best gift ever. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't. I don't like that harsh edge there. Do you mind if I feather that out? Feather that out. I feel more comfortable with the bigger tongue depressors. See, that's so much nicer than having that sharp edge there. Look at that. That is cool. Isn't that pretty? You Come like here it? And look at this. Let me step over to the other side of the camera and take a peek at or what we're doing. Or I can just turn the screen around. How about you just turn? Ooh! Oh my God. That is amazing. Seriously, Sace, yeah. that is amazing. Okay, so there you have it. Here was your color palette. I showed you wow, how to- that's too close. I'm still doing like a Sorry. overview of the whole painting. Oh, go ahead. You know what? Pan this so that you can take some, get some good screenshots for the, uh, cause we definitely need good screenshots. I already, got, I already have several. Like here, let me scoot yeah. these closer together. Cause we seriously need good screenshots. Take your hand out of the frame. Hang on son. There you go. Because our screenshots have to be just on point. Mm -hmm. You want to show off the thing now? Okay, so here we have it. This is where we started. I showed you how to get to all these colors with the Amsterdam line. And this is what we've come up with. This paint here has silicone in it. This one does not have silicone. So for those of you who ask me, what happens if I don't have silicone? This is probably what you're ending up with. And this is, this is a perfect side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. So let us know what you think. Until next time, thanks for joining us in the studio. Hope you enjoyed our brand new camera. Thank you to all of our fans who have been supporting us along the way. We'll have an updated sponsor list shortly. Ciao.